What's up, guys? It's Coach Grant with First Down Training, and today we're going to be breaking down some of Demetric Felton's route running ability, okay? So we're going to be looking at these three clips from him at the Senior Bowl. We're going to be talking about how you guys can run a deeper out route with an inside release, how that deeper out route with an inside release sets up a dig route with a fake throw-by technique, and then we're going to be talking about an inside release on a corner route, okay? So I think he did a really, really great job, really stood out at the Senior Bowl, and today we're going to talk about what makes him a special route runner. But first things first, fellas, I want to talk to you about a video we're offering on my website. It's a 20 press releases video. So all the press releases that you need to know. Everything that I teach my guys all in one 45 minute long video. Check out that very first link in the description for all the information on this video. We give you 20 releases, drills to work those releases in the IQ behind it and when to use it. What's the right situation to use those releases? Let's get started with this video. Hope to get you guys on that soon. So this first rider is going to take this just hard inside release, work this throw by technique and run this out route, right? So anytime you guys take an inside release on an out route, this is something that so many people and you guys have been watching this channel, you've probably heard me say this, that you got to trust yourself at the top of the route, okay? You can't let this dictate how you're going to be able to run the route. You can't force an outside release when it's not there. If you got to take an inside release on an out route, so be it, but we better sell vertical, and there's a couple of key points that we need to um, kind of establish here, right? So this DB's kind of head up a little bit outside shade, so if he's head up a little bit outside shade, he's obviously giving up the inside, right? So maybe he's got help to the inside, whatever it is. Maybe they're working some kind of like two-man scenario. Obviously, this is one-on-ones, but that might be what they're working. We don't necessarily know, right? But we don't want to force the outside release here and try to work him here and then come back out. I mean, you could work like necessarily like a threat and release, like a dive release, get this guy to jump and then take the outside. But if we just take the inside right now, that's fine. So you see when he comes off the line of scrimmage here, takes this inside release, hard inside release, right? And he's really working to push up vertical. Now, when we work to push up vertical here, this is like a 10 yard out. We want to make sure that I'm selling vertical as much as possible, right? Selling vertical, trying to get that DB to come in and get him to run with me. Now, what's something that I could do? Inside release on an out route. I could work a throw by or if I really work like, let's say off the line of scrimmage you're going to see this in a little bit like maybe i work him to the outside a little bit like i get him off this platform then i could break up and work to restack and we're going to check that out on this corner route that we're going to look at in a couple of routes here how you kind of work to restack and take an inside release and win right so now this is when this db doesn't play it that bad i just take the inside release right now he's hip to hip with me i got to make sure that i have a plan so what's the plan we want to throw him by now that where you throw this db by and how you don't get a flag you don't want to extend and push right it's almost like michael jordan if you guys watched that like last dance documentary i know a lot of you guys probably didn't necessarily see him play but when he worked that like last crossover last game of the bowl there was a real controversy thing where it looked like he almost threw this guy by it was just a little tap he used his momentum he used his momentum just put his hand on his waist kind of swatted him by crossed him up and made the shot kind of the same idea when we're throwing a db by we don't need to have this push right we don't need to push him in the back and try to make him fall over he's got momentum going forward if i'm running full speed and if i'm running full speed and i get him to commit his hips it's just a little swat just a little swat rip back underneath so you see how where he attacks he's like the back of his hip that's a great point of control when you get a guy to turn his hips right back of the hip or back of the shoulder those are the two that i teach back of the hip back of the shoulder so we can rip underneath those are two points that can control him and then be able to break back underneath and accelerate and get some separation so this is a great job by felton working this out route with an inside release and you see db's getting stuck not speed turning and we could get we could honestly just widen the gap as much as we want in this case that's a great route watch this thing again full speed one more time Great job. He's taking the inside release right now, swatting him by, getting up to the depth of this route, and accelerating off this break. So now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking at this kind of um, dig route here off of a fake throw by now. Okay, so now. This is a situation, kind of what we were talking about. Again, DB's a little bit outside shade, so giving up that inside release, right? So we don't want to force anything, right? But now if I have a dig route, I kind of want the inside release. But this is just another way, just another tool in your arsenal, another thing that you guys could have to run a dig. Because when you're running a dig, you could break it off. You just snap it off, get out of it in two steps, maybe three steps, work a square cut, restack, work a rocker step, heavy indicator like grown man plant, or you could work a fake throw by, right? So this fake throw by takes a little bit of time, but um, I honestly think if you execute it properly and you're not wasting too much time at the top of the break and you're not taking too much time you can execute it right so what does he do here he works this kind of guy he gives us a little slide to the outside one quick jab db moves off that platform that's all we want him to do right now if this db were to stay disciplined to the inside like let's say we slide to the outside and he jumps to the inside like, he shoots inside first he takes this step takes away my inside i'll just take the outside release and let's work to restack or let's work to get him running hip to hip with me and maybe i could swat him by it's the same idea as that outright it's the same kind of 90 degree cut principle 
principles, right? But we shuffle to the outside. This DB shuffles with me. All right, fine. I'll take the inside release and let's roll. Now, he's going to be running hip to hip with me. So what do I want to sell? And maybe this DB spelt it before. In an actual live game scenario, you're probably going to be going up against that same DB constantly, right? If it's a man cover scenario. So what do I want to sell? I want to sell a fake throw by. I want to sell like I'm throwing this DB by. Again, we put my hands right here. We want to sell like I'm just going one, two, three, four, or one, two, three necessarily, and I'm throwing him by and trying to cut back underneath. All I got to do is give a little head and shoulder fake to get him to hesitate and want to open up and that out, right? So right when you're about to break, you want to swat him by either at the back of the hip, back of that shoulder, take a quick jab to the outside so it's like left, right, left if you were going to be doing it on this side, and to sell like you're just running this like three-step out route cut or just breaking off and square cutting this out route, right? That's what we want to try to sell on a fake throw by, but it's real important that when you do, you throw throw him by the exact same you give you make your body move towards that blind spot you see how he's here he makes his body move towards and that blind spot what i'm referring to is here that spot that forces him to either open up or speed turn out of there so when you work this fake throw by make sure you give a little head fake there right just a swat little head fake to the blind spot and if we could just get him to hesitate we could just accelerate and widen the distance so that little hesitation by him is exactly what we want i can drive my arms i can accelerate off this break and widen the distance and make this play over the middle that's a great job i felt making your routes look the same same, fellas. That's the thing. It's not, you don't need a hundred different things going into each game. Yes, you need a hundred different tools in your arsenal. You should learn that, but you should be just an absolute craftsman at about five, six different things, and they all build off of each other. And then maybe into another game, you go with another maybe five different things. Or It's just it's just about staying consistent, keeping it simple, but also having all those tools in your arsenal to understand how you guys can create some separation, the different situations to create separation, and just what you need to do to be an overall good receiver, especially against one-on-one -on -one coverage, because we can't just run the routes. we got to have other tools, other things. It's not just zone coverage. I could just go run, be lazy, and get to a spot, right? It's not an air raid. Always an air raid offense type situation against zone where you just go run and be in open grass. You know what I mean? we got to have these kind of things to do to take with us at the next level because I know a lot of you guys are high school, maybe younger, but when you get to that next level, you have to have those things in your arsenal. You can't just get away with being fast. Everybody at the next level is fast. You can't just get away with being big. Everybody at the next level is big. you got to have that technique. you got to have these technical points down to be able to get some separation. So let's watch this thing full speed one more time, takes the inside release, work that fake throw by, give a little head fake to that blind spot, then make this play. So now we're going to be looking at kind of the same release here. Again, hesitate, guy jumps to the outside, work to restack, give him that hard indicator cut, and then we accelerate up to this corner route. Now, this is kind of what I was talking about at the very beginning, right? DB's a little bit outside shade, right? So giving up that inside. Now, again, if we were to shuffle to the outside here, let's say he takes this little slide and that DB stays to the inside here, let's say he just takes away, I'm just going to go. I'm just going to shuffle, take off, beat him with speed to the outside, work to restack. Now, this is what I was talking about in the very first um, very first clip. In the very first clip, what did he do? He just dove right to the inside and took this inside release. So what that DB is going to do is he has more time to react to it, right? He's going to turn. He's probably going to be on his hip. But now when we can work this DB off his platform with this little hesitation skip, one wide step, like kind of hesitate, one, two, that's very Devontae Adams-esque right there. That's something that you see Adams do a lot of, work the DB off and then break back up to the inside. And I'm here. I can work to restack. I moved him off that platform. If I burst off the line and I have some speed, I could get back over the top of him. So any outside breaking route, like a corner, an out route, maybe like a double move, like a corner post, something like that with an inside release, inside release, you could either throw by or you could work to restack and give this heavy indicator or even a rocker step at the top of the route. So that's what Felton does right here. Great job understanding that you have different ways to attack each route in different situations. So you see he does a great job working to restack, gets that DB on his back hip, throws that head and shoulder fake to the inside because, again, what's that DB supposed to do? His eyes are a little high. DB's head and shoulders will lie to you. It's all about watching the hips, but as a receiver, we can understand that if you throw your whole body, you commit your hips and your shoulders to the outside, that's what's going to get this guy to jump. That's what's going to get him to bite to the inside. And then you see the separation we're able to create, right? So it's all about being able to move the DB off the platform, get a read for him. He shoots off that platform. All right, cool. I'm going to make a one, two, get him to sit, break back to the inside. Let's work to restack. He runs, he plays this thing well. Let's say the DB plays it well. Let's say he's got great recovery speed. I don't work to restack. Maybe I stumble a little bit or whatever. And he's hip to hip. Something I could do, I work a throw by. Swat him by at that hip, break back underneath him, force that speed turn. I know on a corner it's a little bit awkward, but that's something that we just got to do. We got to be able to work the those different situations, we got to have a plan at the top of the route. I can work to restack. I hit him with this one cut. Now, maybe the next time I come back, I hit him with a one. 
And then I break it back to the two, and then I go run a post, right? It's all about just having these different tools in your arsenal. Make your routes look the same, fellas. That's what I want to stress out of this. Let's watch this thing again full speed one more time. So hesitate, one, two. Great Devontae Adams. S, release. Give that little head fake, and then burst up to that corner. Great route there by Felton. All right, guys, I really want to thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. If you guys have any questions at all, please leave those in the comments below. And also, guys, if you want to get a video where I break down 20 press releases, 45 minutes of all release work, everything you need to know to beat press, check out that very first link in the description. I'll see you guys next time.